Is it really worth your hard-earned income to buy a Hermes Gypsier or Mini Gypsier bag when it doesn't even hold the same resale value as a Hermes Birkin or Kelly bag? Why are we even talking about the Gypsier anyway? So in this video, we're going to dive deep into the design, the style, the craftsmanship of the Hermes Gypsier bag and its allure with the celebrities. And please stay tuned till the end where I will share with you my true assessment about whether it's worth the money to buy the Hermes Gypsier. So today's research is all based on online articles about the Hermes Gypsier bag. I have to give credit to Sotheby's Auction House where they have given me the most extensive review of all the bags regarding Hermes. If you're interested, please check out their website and I'll link it in the description below. So let's start a little bit with the history of the Hermes Gypsier. It was actually released in the fall of 2008 by the famous designer Jean-Paul Gaultier. And it was supposed to be a sportier, more relaxed version of the Hermes Birkin bag. This bag definitely is more fun, more sporty, more casual. I like to refer to it as a rebel chic kind of bag. You can wear it in many ways. You can wear it crossbody with this long strap. You could also shorten the strap. It's totally adjustable and wear it on your shoulder. And also you could remove these straps. You could see that there are these clasps here and hold it as a handheld bag. This bag reminds me a little bit of a messenger bag because it's kind of big, spacious. It allows you to wear it in front or in the back. So if you're riding a bicycle or a motorbike, you could easily wear this and just sling it towards your back and it'll still look really fashionable and eye-catching. So this is the original Gypsy Air and it comes in four sizes, namely 28, 31, 34 and 37 centimeters in width. Of course, it comes in all the different types of leather and colors that Hermes has to offer. If you haven't already, please check out my video on the best colors to invest in when buying a Hermes bag. I'll link it right here. And please leave a comment below for me if you're interested in learning more about the different leathers that Hermes has in their collection. So this design features a frontal flap closure secured with a lock and a thick adjustable shoulder strap. And the interior features several compartments, allowing you to keep your necessities organized and easy to find. So the one I have here is the Torillon Clemence in 28, and it's in the color of blue jean and in silver hardware. You can see the bag is really spacious. It has multiple compartments. I like to use the smaller pouch for maybe my hand san sanitizer or a lipstick or some cosmetics. And then there's this huge middle compartment here where you can pretty much put anything you like, a long wallet. You can even put your passport holder, um, a book. It's really ideal for city traveling because um, it holds a lot of things and it's also really secure if you secure your bag properly. There's also this great zipper compartment where you can also uh, secure cash, um, valuables, jewelry, whatever you need that needs a special area that's zipped away. This is also great for that. So another great thing that I have yet to try is that you can remove the straps and you can actually perhaps buy a canvas strap from another fashion house or if Hermes has it, you can buy it from them and you can interchange straps with your bag. So it actually gives it more of a fun look and uh, different ways to style your bag. So what I really like about this design, it has the beautiful straps, the brackets and the turn lock design, which is so signature of the Hermes, Kelly, Birkin, they all have this look. And so um, it's nice to have a more casual fun bag that embodies the same Hermes signature design. Okay, so in 2023, Hermes released a newer version of the Gypsier called the Mini Gypsier. And it is in fact seven centimeters smaller than the Gypsy Air 28. So why don't we call it the Gypsy Air 21? It's definitely a much more minimalistic bag. It, on, it comes in a canvas strap and the inter interior design is quite different from the original. It's a much smaller compartment, but it has enough room to carry perhaps an, uh, an iPhone Max, keys, 
your wallet, a card holder, and some small personal items. I guess it makes sense that the growing trend now is to go for smaller mini bags because now we don't really need to carry a huge uh, wallet. We don't need to carry a lot of cash. Basically your phone, maybe a credit card or two, your keys and some personal items is all we really need. So you, if you don't need to carry so many things on a daily basis, this mini one is great. But do note that the straps are made of canvas and they are not detachable, but they are adjustable so that you can find that comfortable fit. Another perk with the mini sizes can be a little more affordable than the original, but I'll get to that towards the end of the video. So currently the mini Gypsy Air retails for about $7,300 in the store, but if you were to bring that brand new store-bought bag to the secondary market, you can reap up to ten dollars to $12,000 depending on the exact specification. So of course there have been celebrities that have been spotted wearing the Hermes Gypsy Air bag, namely Louise Redknapp, Elle McPherson, Jenny McCarthy, and even some have spotted Miranda Kerr, Katie Holmes, Kate Upton, and Nikki Hilton wearing this bag. But I have yet to find photos of them with it, but I'll take their word for it. Okay, so let's talk about what are the pros and cons of the Hermes Gypsy Air bag in my own personal opinion. Let's start with the pros. With any Hermes product, the craftsmanship is always of the topmost quality. You find the stitching, the leather, the coloring, everything is just so perfectly uh, constructed and you will really get a lot of use out of this bag if you take care of it and it definitely would be an investment. I also like how this bag is very versatile. You get to wear it in three ways, crossbody on the shoulder, handheld. It's modern and chic yet also casual and fun and sporty so it encompasses all those fun things about a style that you might want to achieve and i also feel that this bag is very timeless there is it's not something that will be easily dated this bag was issued 2008 which was 15 years ago and wearing it today you would still feel very modern on trend i would definitely agree that this is a classic i would have no qualms wearing it maybe another 15 years from now the one good thing about this bag is, is it's very spacious you can fit a ton of things inside it comes in a variety of sizes so if one is too big or one is too small you can always find something that will fit your needs let's face it anything made by hermes is always um is always coveted by fashionistas around the world. So um, I would say if you have a bag from Hermes, treasure it because it will repay you in many ways. Okay, let's talk about the cons. So the biggest con of course is the price. It's just so expensive that it prices a lot of people out of the market. I would argue that these bags, um, the Gypsier uh, and other models do not appreciate as much as the Birkin and the Kelly and in fact could depreciate a little bit more especially when the condition of the bag is not at its best so if you're not picky about it being perfect and pristine and you're willing to buy it on the secondary market i think it's a good way to score a bag um, maybe wait a few years especially if you have your eye on the mini and and by then hopefully you could get it at a discount perhaps 20 to even 50 percent discount from the current retail price it's also always in limited availability. What I find most annoying is you have to establish a, a relationship with the Hermes store with a specific sales associate and really show them that you are loyal to Hermes and you're willing to spend a lot of money on all their other items so that you can find your dream bag. Um, so that part I am not too crazy about and it really puts a lot of people off. So that's why the secondary market is a great way to go just to get the bag of your dreams in the color and the leather and the hardware that you want. Um, I just find going that way is a little less stressful. Okay, and one of my biggest gripe with this bag is its weight. The leather itself is heavyweight and it's a uh, high quality, but yet um, it has a weight to itself. Because you have a spacious bag, you don't want it to be half empty. You feel like, oh, I should maybe put a few more items inside. And by doing that, you end up having a lot more weight to carry. And through time, the shoulder strap, even though it's nicely designed and quite wide, it still weighs down on my shoulder and um, makes it uncomfortable for me to wear um, for a long time. And I find myself having to switch from my shoulder to shoulder. And it just becomes less enjoyable for me to go and reach out for this bag. So 
if I were to go travel and I know I would have to be walking in the city the whole day, I don't know if I really want to carry my Hermes Gypsier. For that reason, I'd rather find a, another bag option so that I can lug my heavy items around. And remember this, you're carrying a Hermes bag. You're going to want to take care of it a little more. You're not going to run around in the rain where there's water splashing around on the roadside. And you're not going to run around in the market or in the crowds where there's a lot of people sightseeing and people are, you know, crowded and pressing against your bag. You know, all of these things come to mind. And so when I carry my Hermes bag, I know I have to take care of it or I want to take care of it. And so it makes it less carefree for me to use this as a travel bag. I would say it would be a great city bag where you know you have only short distances to walk and you're going to take off your bag after a short while and rest it somewhere. Then that would make sense. And then the strap closure is a pain for me, especially when you're in a hurry to unlock the, the clasp and remove the straps and and take out the items you need and then to close it back and to put everything back in place it takes time and so I find I would actually uh, do it this way I would actually put the flap inside the bag and have the straps on the uh, secured um, which is convenient but then it's also open so you know if I'm afraid of being pickpocketed and I have my bag this way I think I would be a pretty easy target so that's another thing to keep in mind um, as to the opening and the closure of the bag can be a little bit of a nuisance. And like I said earlier, the Gypsy does not resell as well as the Hermes Birkin or Kelly. If you want to own this bag, I would go with a secondary pre-love market way and find something that you really like in the color and, and the hardware that you want and get it that way. Anyway, so I hope this video was helpful for you and giving you an insight on the Gypsy Air. Please check out my other videos and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.